A new rock quarry could shake things up in Parley's Canyon. It is drawing concerns for homeowners and for the environment as well. New special Mike Anderson has a look at the proposed plans and reaction from people who live nearby. Mike? Yeah, Mike, you know, uh, the prospect of all this concerning for people, the owners have about 650 acres of land, but they say the mine would take up about 20 acres. And still with the drilling dynamite and the hauling materials through the canyon, people very nervous about the idea. It's still not clear where the proposed limestone mine would be, but when you hear of a project like that out here, it draws a lot of questions. I commute this canyon sometimes seven days a week. Nishia Emery says she not only worries about the loads of limestone that will come out of the mine through the canyon. I'm concerned about my water in Salt Lake and very concerned about my water up here and the wildlife too. The prospect of dust and impacts to the environment here are the focus of many questions from nearby homeowners. Is uh, going Going to necessitate heavy equipment traveling right past our entrance to our properties, uh, basically our driveway. But the owner of Tree Farm LLC, Jesse Lastly, says they've carefully outlined plans in the over 300 page proposal to mitigate impacts on the environment. And, you know, animal displacement and the water that these animals drink and that the members in this community drink and that the Salt Lake City residents drink. It's just, you know, it. everyone should be concerned, not just our community. According to the plans, a large retention pond would filter out sediment and good housekeeping measures would be used to avoid chemical seepage from equipment in the mine. Lashley says the quarry would be in an area that would make it very hard to see from the highway. And he says they're working to avoid impacts to wildlife in the area too. Still, it's hard for many in the surrounding area to not be concerned. We're doing everything we can right now to try and make it better. So why are we letting something like this go in? And a uh, online petition against the mine already has well over 2,000 signatures. The Utah Division of Oil, Gas and Mining uh, will take public input on this through email. We'll post uh, that email address on our website, ksltv.com. But lastly, says they will work hard to address every uh, regulation and concern that the board might have. Back to you. Yeah, you certainly can understand those concerns. Mike, thank you.